Before you start painting a radiator, it's important that it has cooled down. Now painting a hot radiator can affect the quality of the paint finish, so make sure that the radiator is turned off and completely cooled down before you start painting. Place drop cloths underneath and next to the radiator to protect the floor. Now because of the expansion and contraction of the radiator, this old cork here is cracked and you want to fill this with a premium quality cork before you start priming. Use a soft cloth and mild detergent to remove any dust and dirt from the radiator. You'll want to use a small wire brush to remove any loose rust on the radiator. Now these areas should be primed with a latex rust inhibitor like Benjamin Moore's acrylic metal primer. Although you can use a high heat coating to paint radiators, it will limit your color choice. Now most premium quality interior latex paint will withstand temperature up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This will allow you to use the same paint you used on the walls or trim. Now painting a radiator the same color as the wall will help it blend in rather than stand out. Generally a brush is the best application tool, but depending on the size and style of the radiator, you may also be able to use a small slim gym roller along with a brush. Start by painting at the top and then work your way to the bottom. Now don't paint the valves since that could make them difficult to open. Allow the paint to dry for at least 24 hours before turning the heat back on. 